start recording. There's a time going on there. This is the clap. Hello and thank you for joining us. My name is Kirill. I'm one of the consultants here at Smail Lincoln and today we're going to do a quick video to show you guys how to connect your Android device to Bluetooth in one of our Lincolns and we're also going to show you how to set up the Android Auto in your Lincoln as well. Um, so we'll start off by doing the basic Bluetooth setup so I have my Android device here. Uh, first thing I'm going to want to do is go into my settings on my Android Go to connections just to make sure my Bluetooth is on. So, as you can see, this is turned on. If you click on that, you'll see any of the devices that are available to be connected to at the moment. Um, so, what we're going to do next is on your main screen here in your Lincoln, you're going to see a box here that says connect a phone as long as you don't have one already connected. So, we just click on that, click Search add phone. Your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. I'll give you this very nice prompt here and then. Sometimes you have to refresh it on your mobile device for it to pop up. So let's see. Go ahead, turn that off. Turn it back on again just so it can rescan any available devices. And you'll see here, available devices, Lincoln Navigator comes up. So just click down on that. It'll say pairing for a Confirm couple moments. The pin displayed on sync matches the pin displayed on your device. As long as those two numbers match up, click OK on your device and yes on the screen. It'll take a second for it to load in. For your safety, please stay alert to changing road conditions and use Sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. And we're paired and at this point it gives you an option to set your phone as the favorite and on your phone it also gives you a prompt asking you permission to access your text messages. Uh, so we'll go ahead and allow that on here, finish this up. It also asks you about your contacts and your phone. Uh, it'll upload it in there. That way, you can use you know your voice commands and access all that information hands-free. So, now our phone is connected via Bluetooth. What we're going to do is demonstrate the Android Auto. So, first thing you want to make sure is that you download download the Android Auto app from the Google Play Store. Once you have that downloaded, you want to get your USB cable and plug it in here. You always want to make sure you try to use a good quality USB cable because if you use some off-brand one, they don't always work. Um, so as long as you have your good USB cable plugged in, go ahead and plug your phone in. And within a few moments, it should give me a prompt up here on the screen. So you'll see the screens have changed, so what will Android Auto do for you? A couple of quick little things. Just click continue on your phone and continue on the screen in the car. It'll ask you if you wanted to have permission to make calls, use your location, text messages, calendar, just basic permissions to access the information on your phone. Um, and pretty much the same thing shows up on your screen, so you just have to hit agree and continue on all of those. And then last thing it asks you on your phone is, you know, what kind of notifications you wanted to provide for you. I'm just going to leave this how it is, because this is my phone. I don't want to mess with it. So, Android Auto. Okay, so actually... It'll give you your notifications. You have to go to Android Auto and allow notifications from Android Auto. And that'll give it access to your car. And once you hit all those, your phone will go into Android Auto mode. So that you can just put down at this point and you'll be able to control everything from your screen. Um, so this will just give you some you know, instructions on how to use the commands on your steering wheel with your phone. We're not going to do that today. We're going to skip through it just to show you what it all looks like. And so here we are. Uh, now instead of the Sync 3 display, we have um, the Android Auto display here. So information from your phone will show up on here. This is going to be like your home screen. So you'll see you know, the time, time it takes for you to get home. If you have your address saved in there, local weather, your most recent calls. Um, so if you click down here on the headphones, you know, you'll be able to see 
Google Playbooks, any apps that you might have that might be compatible with it, so like Pandora, Spotify, you know, things like that. Um, from here, you can also access, you know, your call log. Um, you have your Google Maps, and you also have Waze as an available um, navigation setting. So you can actually have Waze up on here, you know, be able to see if there's any traffic jams ahead, um, you know, debris on the road, things of that nature. Highly recommend it, great app, use it all the time. And very last thing, if you click all the way here on the right, it will give you an option to return back to your Lincoln Sync system. Um, so that is pretty much all there is to know about connecting your Android device via Bluetooth and hooking up the Android Auto. Um, that, that, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, throw them down in the comments below. Um, and be sure to check us out online at smailincoln.com. Thanks again for joining us, and have a great rest of your day.